Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond, and in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of Kamigami Battles Rise of the Old Ones by Japanami Games, which is a competitive deck building game for two to six players, which plays in about an hour for ages 14 and up. Now before I open up the box and show you all the cards and the lovely art on them, I'd like to ask you to please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, that really helps my channel. And if you'd like to support me financially, there's also a Patreon page, you can click the link in the description below and you can become a Patreon saint for as little as just one euro per month and in return you will get your name in the credits of all of my videos, early access to my videos and also access to some Patreon exclusive posts. All right let's open up the box and see what's inside. Right, Kamigami Battles Rise of the Old Ones has some really cool Cthulhu artwork on the cover the little person standing there and the giant Cthulhu rising from the waters. Two to six players, 60 minutes, 14 and up on the cover there. And on the sides we have that same information with the logo. Same thing here as well. And here and here. On the back of the box we have a bit of a uh, explanation of what the game is about here. We have the contents listed here and of course some images of what you can expect. So you have these bigger cards and the smaller cards, tokens. So uh, let's open it up and uh, have a look. Okay, so first of all we get of course the rule book, which has the components, the background of the game, an overview, Different card types are explained first, which is handy, so you know what the cards mean before you learn the rules. And uh, artifacts. Then we have free for all rules, player versus player. And the setup here. An image of the setup and how the game ends. How you play the game, of course, and your turn is divided in five phases, which are listed here and then explained with some examples in the yellow boxes there and the yellow text, which is always appreciated. Different phases, there's God abilities, locations that you can use, team match rules, you can play team versus team as well. We can of course combine this game with uh, expansions because these Kamigami battles are basically uh, standalone but can also be uh, mixed. All-out all war variant and a glossary that uh, explains all these different kinds of um, keywords. The credits and here are the other games so this is uh, Kamigami Battles River of Souls and Kamigami Battles uh, Battle of the Nine Realms this is the Norse one and this is more the Greek Egyptian I guess uh, mythology and there is also some expansion packs available and two expansions for this one in particular as well which also have the uh, mythos theme all right, then we have a punch board with uh, very easy to punch tokens because <laughs> most of them already came out in transport. So that's good. And we'll have a look at these tokens. The thickness is uh, also quite good. That looks very good. I'll have to pick these up and sort these out. Put them in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> the simple plastic divider, basically. And uh, so you can put your cards in uh, here the bigger cards uh, maybe you want to sleeve them but it seems to me that there's plenty of room to sleeve these and still have them in this so this might be for the expansions if you buy both of the expansions for this one you can just put them in here as well which is also a good thing and we have a bunch of smaller cards because this is of course a deck building game we'll find mostly cards in here which i will go through quickly and these bigger cards as well. Uh, there's actually a separate slot here uh, for, I guess, for the tokens. Yeah, the tokens probably go in here. 
I don't think there's a Ziploc bag included to put those in, but we all have plenty of Ziploc bags, so it won't be hard to find one or two to uh, have the five and the one points uh, in separate bags in here. So let's have a look at these cards first. All right, so these are the dividers, I figure, because they're in a monochrome sepia color and they're just cardboard on the bag as well. There's no prints there. So I guess uh, you're gonna put your cards in here like this maybe, but this doesn't really fit. So probably here. All right, let me just get those tokens out. Uh, there we go. Is there still one in there, I guess? Yeah, <laughs> a couple of them slipped underneath. So, all right. So yeah, I guess the cards will sit in here like this so you can still see them. And should you want to put them in like this, that also works if you have a different storage solution. Uh, but I guess you can just uh, put these here and then divide them up. This is a bit tight though on this one. That's weird. This fits easily. And this one, well, it fits, but uh, gets a little bit tight near the bottom. And that's a bit strange. You would have expect that to fit nicely. All right, so then the card. Let's uh, let's check out the uh, the gods first. So on the back they have this nice Kamigami battles, which has the same art as I guess the other uh, games as well. Because this does look Greek and Egyptian in a way. Although yeah, there are different. Oh, these are just a god statue for the gods, and these are the locations. Then, all right. So let's have a look. So obviously all of these are, uh, you know, Cthulhu Mythos, Lovecraftian uh, old ones with a anime style character. So reimagined, if you will. And they all have their names printed up here, their art and their uh, alignment, I guess. Uh, they have these three colors, each of them is different and what they can do. And there's a logo here as well. And they have like a, a code. So yeah, that's basically what a car looks like. This is Azatoth. This is Glocky. And you can see the text here. So all of them like anime stylized Nyarlathotep, the bloody tongue. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Tsathogwa. The sleeper, it's yawning. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Nodens with a trident there. We have Yoxototh, which is usually depicted as a kind of a formless blob with lots of eyes and mouths. So you can see in these eyes, crystals kind of still, and uh, the teeth there. It's pretty cool. Noth Yiddick and Ithaqua. And Atlak Naka, Nacha, the spider god. The webs in the background. And eyes amongst the stars. The big eyes, of course. And Cthulhu, obviously, can't have a uh, Rise of the Old Ones game without Cthulhu, who hasn't been uh, anime-fied. <laughs> and Shabnigrath, the black goat of the woods. Yeah, and then we have these um, locations. We have, of course, Dunwich. We have Relia. Underwater, Innsmouth, Kenyon, hadn't heard that one before, looks cool, The Nameless City, Severn Valley, some creatures lurking in the dark, and that's that. So those are the gods and the locations, really nice, love the artwork. I'll just put these back here and then we'll have a look at all of these cards. Let's start with this pack. 
All right, so first of all, we have these Shoggoth cards here, kind of like in black and white. There is some color in here, but they're very black and whitish. And you have several of those. And these are warriors. We have Chthonians, <laughs> which would have the tentacly beards. It's pretty cool. So we have several of those. We have servants of Glocky, dressed as an actual servant, the French maid. I like the humor. We have Doris Fletcher, the head librarian, with the Necronomicon, no doubt. We have Professor Paula Pierce, with the uh, jungle hat. <laughs> we have an Elder Thing, an Elder Things having the these weird shaped wings. That's pretty cool as well. We have Father James O'Brien, who reminds me of the lad from Trigun quite a lot, with the glasses and the guns. That's pretty cool. We have Miss Anna Stewart. Doesn't ring a bell. Haven't read all of the Cthulhu lore yet, the books. The Dimensional Shambler, a monster, obviously. It's pretty cool. We have Mari Mark, the thief. We have a deep one. Clearly. We have Gigi Lamour. And that is continued in this pack. So more of her here. Then we have the Dark Young from uh, Shubnigrath, of course. Creepy offspring. We have Stella Simone, the witch. Looks very cool. Then we have some artifacts here. So I'll put this underneath these then. Uh, we have the Necronomicon, Revelations of Glocky, Unaussprechlichen Kulten. For those of you who don't know German, it's uh, unspeakable cults, narcotic manuscripts, lightning gun. <laughs> that looks really cool. I love that. It's like really classic. You know, old school sci-fi, laser zapper gun, a mist projector, shining trapezohedron, the dust of Ibn Ghazi, the greenstone idol, black stone, Al Hazred's lamp, a ring of Ibon. So we have those. This deck also came with these randomizer cards. So there's a randomizer card, again in Sapia, with all of these different types of cards to randomize your market, no doubt. So we have those as well. Let's uh, open up this pack. So we have more cultists, disciples. We have a bunch of those, and those are two... So these are probably the cards that you can always get and add to your deck. There's a whole bunch of those. That's a lot of cards and they all have the same art. So we have that. And then we have these high priests, also a bunch of these. So that's in that deck of cards and there's more in here. So more high priests, actually quite a few. So we have maybe even as many as the uh, the other ones, the cultists. Then we have servitors of the outer gods. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's some kind of instrument there. <laughs> so we have they, them, and that's also quite a few of these. Get those with the rest. And then we have Jack Dalton, the adventurer. We have Samantha Spade, P.I. Really cool. Mad Dog Marino, the mobster. <laughs> so cool. We have Officer Sadie Smith. Five of those. And more Shoggoths. So those go with these that we already saw here. So yeah. 
those are all the cards in this uh, expansion standalone expansion kamigami bottles rise of the old ones and so that was my unboxing of kamigami battles rise of the old ones by japanime games i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and please also check out my patreon page by clicking the link in the description below or the icon at the end of this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on board game heaven